hi everyone welcome back to my channel and first of all i want to remind you that please follow me on instagram you have the link down below it's magical key 666 so i wanted to share with you not really teach you not really tell you anything just to have conversation with you and share with other people our thoughts as you know i'm learning tarot de marseille this is a very interesting system and i'm a beginner in that i'm not trying to teach you anything in tarot de marseille but i want to have conversations with other people i want to see how you are viewing the cards how they are playing out in your readings in your life so basically i read bendov's book i really like the book but I don't want to memorize like a parrot what is written in books. I want to see from my own eyes what is happening in the cards. And here I just want to share with you my thoughts on the court cards. So as you can see, I put them in order from earth to air. We have earth, water, fire and air. And let's begin with the pages. So again, I'm not going to stack on what Bendov wrote in his book. Let's just see what we are thinking about the cards. So basically the page of pentacles, we can see that he has two coins and his legs are spread to the right and left. I mean, don't be confused. I absolutely love the interpretations in Bendov's book. And of course, we are going to see them here. But let's just have our own point of view. So anyways, he has two coins. What does it mean? It can like it can mean so much things. And to each person it will be different. So obviously the way that he's spreading his legs can show to us that he's indecisive because he don't know which way to go. He's looking at the past because the left side is the past. So it seems like he's very secure on what he already have. He doesn't look at the future and it seems like he found some coin there is coin on earth there is resources on earth and he found this coin like for me i think the page of coins is someone that have opportunities he has resources he can do stuff Yes, he's not looking to the future. He's focusing on what he already have. Like he's looking at the coin in the past. Maybe he also like tighten his belt. Maybe he's don't want to spend money. Don't want to, you know, be careless with money. But he has resources. He has some opportunities and he's like afraid to lose it. This is my opinion. So let's go to the page of cups. The page of cups is actually going to the past. And he has this cup that he's looking at the cup. And also he has this hat or maybe this is the, how to say it, the cap to this cup. We don't know for sure. But he seems like some depressed person that is maybe looking at his emotions, but he's looking at his past situations and past emotions. Like he don't want to get out of it. He's not going to the future. He's very sentimental, you know, it's cups. But again, I don't want to deviate from what I see in the card. I don't want to give, you know, my personal interpretations. So basically, he's a bit depressed going to the past and holding this cup. Like something happened in his past that he's still focused on. And maybe it gives him some, I don't know, depression. Let's go to the page of batons. So here we have this 
page that holding this button and that button is not processed it's very raw but we can see that he's holding it from like from the how to say it like he's holding it upside down the thicker part is on the ground and this is the thinner part it seems like it's heavy for him he cannot lift it like this baton this fire this energy is very heavy He's, it's so heavy that he has struggled to lift it up and do something and he's actually going to the future he don't care about the past he is coming from the past and focused only on the future so that energy is but too difficult for him to handle there is a lot of passion a lot of creativity a lot of energy that is bursting from him but it's heavy it's too heavy for him so let's go to the page of swords the page of swords also have his feet indecisive to the left and right like he don't know where to go he's looking at the past but his body is want to go to the future his sword is actually heavy on him he's like putting it on his shoulder but there is this danger that he can actually hurt himself with this blade with this sword like he can cut his head i hope you can see that can you see that if you have the cards just take them put them in this arrangement and let's like talk about it so as you can see his feet are spread out also he have this thing here i don't know what is this it can be some wood and if this is some wood that he's holding like some stick this is can be a fire energy like this page is too complex he's looking at the past but he wants to go to the future he has this sword that is hurting him like his logical thinking is hurting his mind like maybe he have some negative thoughts always looking at the past afraid of the future not prepared so let's go to the knights cavaliers here we have the knight of pentacles sometimes it can be confusing because he have this baton here so basically he's riding to the future he's looking at the coin and in his hand he has this baton this baton is again is representing fire energy so it seems like he's very active it's in his hands so he is doing stuff with his hands he's actually doing things he's not lazy he's looking at the coin he's looking at practical things he's a doer he's practical he's going to the future he's smart and active it's not a lazy person a good business deals always looking for profit for benefits but it's someone who is doing he's not sitting the knight of cups knight of cups going to the past holding this cup and nothing that i can say about him like he's going to the past why he's going to the past maybe his emotions are focused in the past he has this face that he's trying to please people maybe and like is opening his heart because he's like you know putting the cup on his hand and like showing it to you like his emotions are open he's very open his emotions are on the sleeve he's romantic but still he's always living in the past not going to the future very weird the knight of 
batons. The Knight of Batons supposed to ride to the past, but he's like doing a U-turn. He's looking at the future and going to the future. His baton is more processed already. Like he did something with his creative energy and he wants to follow his passion and creativity. Also, like there is action here. He's doing something. All the knights for me are doing something. They are doers. They're not just sitting around. So his horse have a lot of dress. Like maybe he's hiding his motives sometimes, his actions. But he's doing, he's creative. He's like very active. Although sometimes maybe the past can, you know, bring him back. Because he's not focusing on the future. He's not going to the future like the Knight of Pentacles. He's like, his movement was about to go to the past. But then he decided, no, 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 I'm going to the future. Like I'm going to be more active. So we have the Knight of Swords also. Knight of Swords going to the past. Why he's going to the past, we don't know. His horse is like getting up. Maybe the horse don't want to go to the past. Maybe the horse want to go to the future. But it seems like his sword is intimidating the horse or he's intimidating the people in the past like he's about to fight he's about to battle also of course he's wearing a lot of armor he's very you know warrior like this is an air card so of course the knight of swords will be a fast person like maybe he's criticizing or doing something that he's not on the right path his actions should be stopped i think this is like an error an error that he's doing so mistake i mean actions with mistakes so let's go to our queens they are more interesting i think our queen of Daenerys, queen of discs. She's looking at the coin. For me, she's really rich. She's really established. Because, you know, here we have opportunity with the page. The knight is doing something. He's working, 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 doing. Here is the accomplishment. She already has everything. Yes, she's looking at the past. She's looking at the things that she's accomplished. And she don't care about the future. Not that she don't care about the future. She don't want to sacrifice things. She don't want change. So she's not occupied with the future. She's with the back. She's only looking to what she already accomplished. She's very pleased. For me, the Queen of Discs dressed very nice something about the fabric of her dress i don't know it's like something that you want to touch the texture of the dress like she's fashionable she's socially correct she's etiquette and she's looking to the coin she seeks benefits of course she seeks benefits and she's looking only at the coin she's looking at what she already accomplished she's proud of herself so let's go to the Queen of Cups. Very interesting card because she has a cup and she also has a sword. So her cup is actually closed. We can say that maybe it's some completion. She don't need to look at her emotions. Maybe she already knows what is happening with her or or maybe she don't or maybe she don't know. But she has this like sword and the sword is analytical thinking, sharpness and she can even be fighty and bite other people. 
She has this big crown. She's open to receive information. And again, she's looking at the past. She's afraid of the future. She's afraid of the future because she's, she's having this sword that is towards the future. Like she's afraid. She's bitey, fighty, sharp. Or maybe she's analyzing her future. Like she's, she's not looking at the future, but it seems like she's thinking about the future. Also, it seems like her throne, if we can see her throne, it gives her shade. Maybe she likes to be in this dominant position. She likes to be an authority figure. Not much that I can say. But all, what we can understand that she's looking at the past and her cup is closed. Maybe she don't want to share her emotions. But it's very weird, right? Because we know that the Queen of Cups, she's very emotional, she's very loving, very nurturing. And here, like, we have this bitchy Queen of Cups. She don't show her emotions. She's with a sword, don't care about the future also is like protecting her back like someone is going to attack her and she's like no nope, i'm protected it's not going to happen today like very different interpretation like she's not really nice as she in the rider weight deck so we have the queen of batons and she's looking to the future She's holding this big baton. It seems like a weapon and like things in the past are not going here because she's protected. Her eyes is to the future. She's only care about what is going to happen. Also, she has this fork and of course people are writing that maybe it is because it has to do with food, with cooking. But you know what, for me, honestly, the Queen of Wands, it's not that she's occupied with cooking. It's not of her interest. The Queen of Wands can be the best hostess and the best cook because she will try to impress you. She's very smart. She's very exotic, energetic. So maybe for me, this is the symbol of the fork. Also, she has flowing hair, long flowing hair. This is a symbol of vitality, of youth, of energy. She has a decent size crown. She's receiving information and she's all about the future. But she's smiling. I mean, she's, she has this nice face. She's very friendly. But if you will annoy her again, she will beat you with that baton. So, Queen of Swords, very interesting. The Queen of Swords is actually looking at the past. She's not looking at the future. She has this sword. She has a hand on the belly. In some decks, her hand is on her heart. So it seems like the Queen of Swords is not so bitchy and evil in the Marseille. She seems like more understanding and more, more lovable. I think that the Queen of Cups is more bitchy. I think the Queen of Cups is more evil than the Queen of Swords, which is very weird. But it's only information that we can pick up from the physical image of the card. So she's looking at the past. Not much that I can say about her. A crown, receiving information sitting on a crown like she's authoritative she already accomplished something the queen of batons actually we cannot see her throne but here we can see and maybe she's cutting the past maybe she's cutting the past with that active sword or trying to understand with a logical analytical mind what happened in the past it also can happen so let's move to the kings. King of discs, king of dinars, is holding 
this coin looking to the future but his body is to the past his legs are in this four position this four position is indicating that he's controlling he writes the rules he holding this coin but he's not looking at the coin like he already got the coin he's not focused on the coin he already have it but his face is to the future i mean he's not occupied with his wealth right now but it seems like he wants more he still is looking to the future sitting on a throne on a chair and he has some authority but honestly he has a very small coin the queen have a bigger coin even the knight have a bigger coin and he has a small coin like the page like he got some resources in the past maybe and he wants more i will leave it this way so king of cups king of cups also body language to the past face to the future legs also are going to the past and he has this cup that is not fully closed like the queen of cups it's a bit open so we can see that there is something in the cup it seems like he has this worry in his eyes and he's looking to the future not much that i can say like from the picture I, I cannot say much also maybe he's afraid of the future because his legs are in the past but he's still interested in the future the kings are kind of boring here or maybe i'm wrong so the king of wands sitting on a throne authority figure looking at the future not a worried he doesn't have a worried face to him holding this baton which is very processed very very different from where he started with this raw stick and he made this a weapon this is sharp this is something that he can win other people he can fight it seems like he's a warrior but he's putting this stick in the position that he can actually hurt himself his legs one leg in the past one leg in the future but the leg of the future is a bit painful is a bit like he's afraid of the future or will hurt himself in the future he receives information because he has a crown and basically that's it and of course we have the king of swords king of swords legs to the past face to the future again maybe he's cutting the past maybe he's protecting himself the crown is not very obvious like in the batons and in cups like he receives information but it's like weird here not really open and he has an armor he also have those faces like we have in the knight of wands in the knight of swords and also in the chariot card he sits on a throne but we don't see that this is like a big throne a chair a throne not really understood but it seems like he's very positive for the future but still like protective not is not jump into the future he's still protecting himself all the kings obviously because they're all like with this arm and also he have here a knife so very interesting and i think the main thing that we saw is that the queen of cups is not that maybe nice as she is very weird maybe she's really hysterical because you know cups water tsunami maybe she's like this nasty woman hysterical woman 
that don't show her emotions. Very weird that she's not showing her emotions. Like, see the difference? The Knight of Cups, he's very open. We can see that he's open. He's He has this big cup. He's showing his emotions. Or maybe he showed his emotions in the past. But she's closed. But she maybe was closed in the past. Like, very weird. And she's not sure about the future. She's very sharp, aggressive, maybe towards the future. Don't want change, but this is a water. Water obviously like change, but it's like she's protective to the future. The queen of discs, she has this authority like skip it her to the future. Like she will dominate you even in the future. So... What else? What else can we find out in the court cards? I don't know why, but I find the kings to be a bit boring. Because they're all sitting like in the same way somehow. With this arm, looking to the future, body language to the past. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please write in the comments, what do you see in the cards? Maybe you saw something more. Of course, we can like speak about this forever and until tomorrow. But I would really love to see people's opinion. Let's share our thoughts. Let's not be parrots that memorizing everything from books. So anyways, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram.